Hello, dear traders. Last week the stock market was rather volatile due to negative fundamental factors. The US reported the highest inflation on record. Traders were also worried about the upcoming rate hike and the crisis in Ukraine. The conflict between Moscow and Kyiv triggered a sharp jump in oil prices to $130 per barrel last week. On the ICE Futures Europe Exchange, gas prices soared to a high of $3,800. Despite extremely unfavorable fundamental factors, the stock market still has a chance to rise. Watch our video review and leave your comments below. The Dow is rather volatile. It's hardly surprising given that periods of rapid growth are quickly followed by periods of sharp drops. The trading sentiment is subdued as investors are uncertain about the current and long-term prospects of the stock market. Geopolitical risks continue to weigh on the market despite hopes for some progress in talks between Moscow and Kyiv. Traders are well aware that something unexpected may happen at any moment. At the beginning of the week, stocks are recouping their losses. Notably, oil prices have also moved away from their highs. Market sentiment improved significantly after the president of Ukraine expressed the willingness to compromise with Russia. Last Thursday, U.S. stock indices rose dramatically following this news. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq closed with gains for the first time in four trading sessions, logging the best session on Wall Street since June 2020. Nevertheless, traders understand that the roller coaster in the stock market has not ended yet. Stock indices may rise today but plunge sharply tomorrow. The Dow lost 700 pips or 2% last week. The outlook for the current week is neutral. The index is also expected to stay in the range of 32,600 33,600 points. These are almost the same levels that investors saw on Tuesday, March 15. As for the S&P 500 index, it also incurred approximately the same weekly losses as the Dow Jones. The S&P 500 shed 100 pips or 2%. After that, it continued to move within the downward channel. Apparently, the bullish momentum is losing steam. The support levels are located in the range of 4,115-4,170. If the index drops below this range, the bearish sentiment will strengthen. Analysts expect the index to fluctuate in the wide range of 4,100-4,300 points this week. What's more, investors are confident that the Fed will hike the key rate given last week's inflation report. It showed a jump in inflation to 7.9% in annual terms. The March meeting is of great importance because it may signal the end of the ultra-soft policy cycle and the beginning of tightening. In addition, the central bank will unveil forecasts for the main macroeconomic indicators. Investors are also waiting for Jerome Powell's comments on further tightening of monetary policy, taking into account the war in Ukraine. The results of the meeting and Powell's comments may bring more uncertainty to the already volatile market. The high-tech Nasdaq also incurred losses last week. Like other stock indices, it also dropped by 2%, losing 200 pips. This week, analysts believe that the Nasdaq is likely to move in the range of 12,300-13,000 points. Last week, the index was adversely affected by the fall in Tesla shares by 1.7%. The drop occurred after Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla and SpaceX are seeing significant recent inflation pressure in raw materials and logistics. Apart from geopolitical tensions and market uncertainty, there are other factors that undermine trading sentiment. For instance, there was a surge in new coronavirus cases in China. Investors are trying to evaluate the possible consequences. Meanwhile, Apple shares sank by 2.7%. Foxconn, a major assembler of Apple's iPhones, paused operations in Shenzhen after an uptick in COVID-19 cases. It negatively impacted the Nasdaq index. U.S. officials reported that Russia asked China to give it military equipment and support for the war in Ukraine. There are no confirmations yet. However, analysts fear that the conflict may go beyond the Ukrainian borders, affecting other countries. In general, the U.S. stock market may rise soon despite its recent fall. The U.S. economy remains strong. Of course, the Russia-Ukraine conflict is weighing on the market, as well as growing oil prices, high inflation and the expectation of the rate increase. However, analysts are sure that the equity market may soon become less vulnerable to these factors. 
That's all for now. Keep abreast of the latest market news with InstaForex TV channel. Feel free to leave your feedback and see you back soon.